Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my Booktubeathon TBR and I am so excited. This will be my second year participating in the Booktubeathon and I had so much fun last year with it. I got so excited for it and really into the challenges, although I only did one video challenge, but as far as making my TBR, I loved coming up with books that fit the different categories. And so I'm doing the same this year, but I'm pretty sure I have a much better shot at actually winning the Booktubeathon, as I guess we're calling it. I am a little more strategic in this one. In the last year's TBR, I had a book on there that was over 500 pages. I had an audiobook that I think was over 24 hours. I had another a couple books over 400 pages. So I just really wasn't thinking logically like I cannot logically read this much in one week so I do have a pretty good stack of books here and I'm excited to share them with you so I love this first challenge is to let a coin toss decide your first read and so for this I have two options and I am trying to include a lot of different genres in my TBR so that at any given point during the week there will be something that I want to read so for this first category I am doing a science fiction read so it's gonna be between Wayward Pines by Blake Crouch and Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Newville these are both science fiction reads. They're both the first book in a trilogy, and all of the books are out in the trilogy, so I'm very excited to read either one of these books. I think they both look pretty decent, so let's see which one I'm going to choose. Also, I'm really bad at coin tosses, so may have to do this off camera. So I will have The Pines book as Heads on the Coin and Sleeping Giants as Tails. So let's see, I'm literally just gonna throw this penny in the air. It is heads and I'm so excited because I really wanted to read Wayward Pines. So I will be picking this up from the library. I've heard good things about it and I also absolutely loved Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. So I'm really looking forward to giving this one a shot. All right, that was probably the most in-depth of the challenges that I had to show here. Challenge two is to read a book about something you want to do. And for this, I'm gonna be reading How to Find Love in a Bookshop by Veronica Henry. Henry. So I want to one day own a bookshop. That's just like a dream of mine. I don't know if it's actually going to happen, but that is something that I would love to do. And from what I gather about this story, it's about this young woman who is moving back home to help her family bookstore because it looks like it may be going under. And I would love to read about that. I would love to have a bookshop one day. So I'm very, very excited to read this one. Next is to read and watch a book to movie adaptation. And this is perfect because I will be reading A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness and then watching the movie. So I'm gonna be really sad during the booktube -thon. At least one day I will be. And I think this is perfect for a readathon. I was actually saving it because of the way it's written and the illustrations. I believe this is classified as a middle grade book. And it has, let's just see here. It has 200 pages and of those 200 pages, I mean a lot of that is images and whatever. So I think this will be really easy to read in one sitting and then I would love to watch the movie right after. Next is a read a book with green on the cover and for this I'm going to be reading a historical fiction because after reading The Secret Cooper I have been wanting to read a lot more historical fiction. This is The Tuscan Child by Reese Bowen and look at all that green. I mean we got a little foresty action here. From what I understand I'm going into this one a little bit blind but it is like a World War II historical fiction type of story. I believe it is set in in like Tuscany because I'm just gonna go into this knowing nothing but I have heard good things about this author and I've been wanting to try it for some time so we'll give it a chance moving right along this is the one challenge this next challenge that I am a little iffy on I may just do this challenge with whichever book is the shortest. So I'll maybe just find out during the week which one I wanna do this with. But this is to read a book while wearing the same hat the whole time. Now, I don't really wear hats that often. I have two hats. I have like a Nike baseball cap. And then I have this really big, like wide brimmed sun hat. So I don't know which hat I will choose. It depends on what I'm in the mood for, but I am definitely gonna have a vlog up of that week. So you'll see down the line which hat I choose and which book I read while wearing that hat. We are almost getting there. So read a book with a beautiful spine. Okay, I'm so excited for this because I actually just talked about this 
in my last book haul and I'm going to be reading Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne and I really do love a good classics edition spine. I just think they're so beautiful. I know it's nothing crazy or super intricate but I just really love the look of classics on a shelf so this is what I'm choosing for a beautiful spine and I've actually never read Winnie the Pooh or really ever watched Winnie the Pooh so this is another one that I could do a book to movie adaptation for but Maybe I'll just watch it anyway. I mean, I can do what I want. I am obsessed with all of the illustrations. Every single page has an illustration and it just seems so fun. I already started reading a little bit of it, but I will definitely get through it during the Booktubeathon. And this is one that I can also probably finish in one sitting. The final challenge is the challenge that's every year of the Booktubeathon, and that is read seven books. So there are two more books I need to add to this TBR, and I will show them to you now. I, of course, had to include an audiobook. I just feel like it's necessary to have an audiobook during a readathon because it's just such an easy way to read a book, and it's something you can do when you're going to work and whatnot because, like, I have to work that week so I can't just be reading all day long but I'll be listening to the audiobook for By Your Side by Casey West. I had been wanting to read another Casey West book recently especially because it's summer and I've been hearing a lot of great things about her books. By Your Side from what I remember from people talking about is about this guy and this girl obviously i mean they're all contemporary <laughs> romances locked in the library over the weekend i think it will be great to read on audiobook because it is still a relatively short audio listen so i'm pretty sure that i'll be able to read the whole thing in the week and then the final book i will be reading for the booktubeathon seriously all of these books i really want to read but this is one that i really really want to read but the thing is when i say stuff like that i tend to not read it so maybe i shouldn't have said that i am planning on rereading the chronicles of narnia series and no i will not be rereading all of the chronicles of narnia i will be starting with the magician's nephew by c.s lewis and i have this like movie tie-in edition that I got when I was in like middle school maybe. I've had this book for so long and I would just bring this book to school and this book is no joke. I would just bring this book to class with me and I would just read it when I was done my assignments and it was just ridiculous. Like it's still kind of a joke with some of my friends like how I would just lug around my Chronicles of Narnia book. Also, okay, this just shows how old this book is because my mom she got me this stamp and it had engraved in it from the library of kelsey and i have one of those stamps in this book so it's just this gold foil stamp i know you can't really see it that well but i just love that that is still there this little section here is the magician's nephew if you've never read the chronicles of narnia do it. I think of all the books, rereading The Magician's Nephew is going to be my favorite so far. So anyway, that wraps up all the books that I plan on reading during the Booktubeathon. I'm really pumped and I actually feel like it's possible that I can get to all of these. So fingers crossed, let me know down below what you are reading because I would love to hear about it and if you're going to be participating in the Booktubeathon as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and happy reading.